Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, yes, walking and talking about Bitcoin blockchain and life here on the beach in Phuket. Today I feel naked again because I'm alone without my wife. And yes, my wife was devastated, devastated that yesterday's video got less views than the normal videos. So apparently you didn't like that I took my wife to the beach. Uh, next time she will wear a bikini. Maybe then we get a little bit more views. Uh, I don't know what it is, but that video really got less views. And I know a lot of, lot of, lot of compliments. A lot of people love that. So we will keep doing it, of course. Like we will do like two or three times a week that she will walk with me on the beach and talk also about some family stuff. Um, so we are going to integrate that a little bit more. But yeah, we need some more thumbs ups and likes of those videos, guys. Now in today's video, again, four amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, a travel tip, some beautiful live advice, of course talking about the news because someone was just hacked for over 100 million US dollar. And yes, when you touch that currency, you go crippled. But let's keep that to the end. Now let's quickly jump into the charts first to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin because we are back at 43k. All day 43k. Bam. Starting today, guys, with this four hour chart, we again saw a buy signal on the Bitcoin family uh, indicator setup. The candle was closing above the yellow stepping line. And again, a good call. If we look to the bottom, we can also see here that the white line start to bend up against the blue lines above it. The white line is still not optimal, guys. The white line is still a little bit sideways, but we can also see uh, the yellow on the bottom decreasing. Uh, we need to see green to be fully, fully bullish. So this is not a quadruple confirmation or even a triple confirmation. So yeah, I am setting out these kinds of trades. I want to have a very clear trade with a very nice upward potential. So higher than the Bollinger Band of 43,800 and a quadruple confirmation at perfect. Then it is the perfect trade. But still, it's a good indication that the market is shifting a little bit more bullish again and that we could be going into these moves to 48k and maybe even 60k, uh, which I've been seeing already for a couple of weeks. Now, let's quickly look at some very interesting charts. First, starting with this Plan B chart. He tweeted yesterday, hey, we have three more blue dots to go. And what will happen after these blue dots, guys? After these blue dots, we will go into those red dots. And now if you look onto the chart, what do you see what those red dots are doing? Yes, I will give you two seconds. They are over. The red dots are all going up. They are all higher than those blue dots. So yes, February will be a blue dot, March and April. But then May will be the first red dot. And that red dot will go higher than those blue dots. After the halving, we will be higher than 50K. Very cool chart. This is a chart, of course, of the uh, ETF spot inflows and outflows. I will keep posting them now and then, so you keep a little bit track on the ETF spot inflows. The most important part is that you see those black candles on the bottom getting smaller and smaller. These are the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust spot ETF um, Bitcoins. They are going less and less dumping. And the less they dump, the more those other on the top of the chart will grow. And at the moment, Fidelity is doing really well. 208 million. And I think BlackRock was somewhere around 198 million. So very interesting to see the dumping and grayscale almost over. The Bitcoin holdings publicly traded entities, also very interesting to see. So Purpose has 32,318 Bitcoin, Fidelity 59,224,000 Bitcoin, BlackRock by now 66,200 Bitcoin, MicroStrategy for Michael Saylor, 189,150 Bitcoins. And then we have Grayscale that still has 487,000 Bitcoins that are left to dump. But of course, Grayscale is also a very good performing spot ETF. So maybe those Bitcoins will stay at Grayscale as we can see less dumping every day. The Bitcoin halving in a three month chart, guys, we have every candle three months. We have that purple line, the diminishing growth line, that's the diminishing support line, let's call it like that. And we have all those candles when we touch that purple line going up every time again and again. Just look to the cycles. The moment we go into the halving, we every time have a very big candle taking distance from that purple line. The halving is those green dotted lines, those vertical lines. In 2013, on that green dotted line, bam, we pumped up and took a distance from that purple line. In 2016, on that green dotted line, bam. It looks like a small jump, but that's a big jump, guys. We took distance from that purple line. 2020, 
on the dotted line. Bam, we took a distance from that purple line. Now, in April 2024, we will again take a distance from that purple line. And a purple line will be at that moment around 40K. I believe the candles will then be around 50K. And yes, we have the possibility to go even above 100K in 2025. For all those people waiting for a dip, if we look at the rainbow price chart indicator, uh, that bluish area on the bottom, that is a fire sale. That level above it, where we are now, greenish area, that is a very strong buy signal. If we drop to 39,000 US dollar, we again touch that fire sale area. So whatever we do, if we go down below 40K, it is already a fire sale. Don't wait till 30K or 20K because that is not going to happen. If you get the opportunity to buy Bitcoin believe 40K one more time, go all in. That is the ultimate fire sale you will ever get. On this very simplified chart, we can see there's a monthly chart, uh, these beautiful four-year cycles, these circles on the bottom. This one is just important for you guys to see when the next bear market bottom will be, because the next bear market bottom will be somewhere October, November 2026. So 2024, bullish. 2025, still bullish. End of 2025, we will slowly go into a bear market again. Mostly this is around December 2025, second November, December, when we start to get less bullish, turning into a bear market of 12 months, always 12 months bear market to the bottom in November 2026. So if you're not able to join this bull market, accumulate as much as possible dollars, euros, or any fiat currency to be able to buy that bear market bottom in 2026. That could also be a valid strategy, but if you ask me at the moment, first dollar cost average into Bitcoin at the moment, all the way up to 50K levels in Bitcoin, then take your profits near the bull market top. So maybe you even double your capital that you're investing now. When we touch 100K in Bitcoin, you doubled your capital. Take everything out at that 100K. So you doubled your capital, then sit out, wait for 12 months. Don't be emotionally evolved wait for the bear market bottom to crash again. Maybe it's not gonna be 70%, maybe it's only gonna be 50%, but again, you will be buying back the double amount of the Bitcoins that you sold at the top. And then you are perfectly set for the next cycle. And then maybe even go in with all the capital because you sold your house, your cars and everything else because you start to believe in Bitcoin more and more. So that is how I would play it at the moment. I would dollar cost average into Bitcoin all the way up to Bitcoin 50K, then double your capital, and exit at the bull market top if we come above 100k and then from that moment stay quiet 12 months buy back at the bear market bottom simple as that just compare it to learning to ride a bicycle or by cycle i should say <laughs> and when you have learned to ride a bicycle you will always be able to ride that bicycle when you have gone through one bitcoin cycle you will always understand how that cycle will work I took three cycles to completely understand and start educating people on this. So hopefully you enjoyed these charts. I'm gonna walk a little bit more up on the beach here so that we don't have a little bit less problems with the sound of the waves because it's a little bit later again. Yes, I was a little bit later, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the charts. Those charts are completely telling you where we are at the moment just before the halving in April 2024, what normally happens after the halving and what will happen this time again and again and again, guys. I truly believe that until the halving, yes, we can move up and down a little bit. Yes, we have some volatility, but more the, the more we come towards the halving, the more we will be around that 50K level, guys. And that 50K level is a very interesting level because that's a huge mentally resistance level for people that are in Bitcoin. Like, are we gonna go above 50K? And then from 50 to 60K, that will be in a split of a second. And then everyone is still doubting. So zoom out, look at the bigger picture. We are gonna create a new all-time high this year above 70K. So if you ask me, buying Bitcoin at 40K, 38K or 45K, it really doesn't matter. It is all profitable if you buy at these levels because we will go to the 70K levels, guys. So it's very interesting to see that people still doubt. If you doubt, zoom out, accumulate as much as possible Bitcoin. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is the parabolic SAR. That's an indicator. You can add that indicator on TradingView. It works very simple. 
you have dotted lines on your chart when you add the parabolic star. These dotted lines, when they are down below the price, this means the price is going up. When the dotted lines are above the price, that means the price will see a reversal and the price will be going down. So you can use the parabolic star as an indicator for when will the market be shifting towards the other side. So we will see a reversal. But the second thing that you can use the parabolic star for is the distance of the price to the dots. Because those dots can be a very good indicator to put your stop loss or your trailing stop loss. So the parabolic star, the distance is mostly around 1-2% to of the candle. So that's a perfect indicator to show you where you should put your stop loss. So not only to show you if the market is upwards or downwards, but also to set your stop loss. The parabolics are a very interesting indicator. You can see them, of course, of the images that I've been sharing now here and here. There you can see how simple it works. So just by adding the parabolic star to your charts, you have beautiful entry and exit points and you can see which direction the market is moving. That was the trading tip for today. Daily, I receive questions about Thailand. People love that we are in Thailand, but people have so many questions. One of the most asked questions is, what about the prices of living and food, for example, in Thailand? Now, the prices of food in Thailand, they are very, very low. Let's, for example, take yesterday morning, I went for like breakfast, lunch, I'm intermediate fasting, so I eat a little bit later together with my wifey. So yesterday we were in a very nice, small, little Thai restaurant, Take and Wake, it's called. If you are going to visit Phuket, go to this uh, restaurant and support this lovely woman that is running that restaurant. But for example there, I had uh, fried rice with chicken, and then you get some salad and everything with it. That's around uh, 90 baht. And then I had some panang curry with it. That's around 70 baht, so that's like around 160 baht. I had a fresh melon juice with ginger and honey. So that's really fresh melon juice with ginger and honey. That was also, I think, 80 baht. It was, I think it was about 260 baht, everything in total, what I ordered. So that's around six to seven dollars for a lunch. So we were with two, so that was 12 dollars for a complete lunch with a nice juice, freshly pressed in a nice environment with nice food, eatable flowers, and even with a cup of coffee after. So for 12 bucks, you already have a lunch for two people. If we order at home, we order mostly with Food Panda. Food Panda is an app that you can install on your telephone and you can order from all the restaurants around you. We mostly spend with the five of us, so that's my three daughters, my wife and I, um, around 1,000 to 1,200 Thai baht, which is around, let's say, $30. So with the five of us, $30, it's $6 each. And then you have a very healthy, just freshly prepared, meal so if you do that 30 days a month that would be thousand dollars a month to have your food freshly delivered every day and freshly cooked of course so it's not expensive the only thing that is expensive at the moment is the housing in thailand but about that i will do another travel tip tomorrow the travel tip for today is enjoy these delicious foods over here and over there every morning or every afternoon in thailand even english breakfast is 80 baht that's like one dollar, it's like two dollars, two dollars for English breakfast. Sausage, egg, and everything else. Now, let's quickly jump into the next part. The next part is answering a question of one of the followers. And the question was, Didi, do you also hodl altcoins? Yes, of course, I hodl altcoins. I have a shitload of altcoins, but I accumulate my altcoins also in a dollar cost average way since the bear market bottom all the way up to like two months ago, guys, when I thought that was the maximum blood on the street for the altcoins. So my list of altcoins is publicly available in the VIP trading group, but also in the free, the Bitcoin value group. So if you will join one of our Telegram groups, you will find my list of altcoins that I have been accumulating for the last couple of months, guys. Not the amount, of course, but you can see which altcoins in which categories, like AI, or which ones are layer ones, etc., etc. You can see exactly which ones I accumulated. And of course, I also buy sometimes this silly stuff just to make fun because I just love the fun in this industry. You know, some people spend shitloads of money on their hobby or on... Um, for example, cards or post stamps or whatever it is. Now, I accumulate NFTs now and then. And if it comes to NFTs, 
I think there is a couple of them that you need to keep an eye on, but maybe I will talk about that next time in another video because else this won't become too long. So the answer on the question is, yes, I own a shitload of owls and yes, those owls you can see all in my list that is available in our Telegram groups. Now let's jump into the next part. For the news guys, of course, talking about the biggest hack of I think 2023 and now even 2024, the chairman of Ripple, Chris Larson, was hacked. I think it was over 200 million Ripples, which have a value of 120 million US dollar. That's why I always say, when you touch Ripple, you go cripple. Yes, I got that sentence from Coach K. He even had like stickers printed above that one. He gave me one of those stickers. I really need to laugh. So by now, I am going to adopt that same sentence. When you touch Ripple, you go cripple. You should have known that. Mr. Larson, that when you touch Ripple, you go cripple. <laughs> you just imagine the chairman of a currency being hacked for over 100 million US dollar. So either he didn't give a fuck about security or maybe Ripple is not secure or maybe even worse, he was not really hacked and he pretended to be hacked so he can do some kind of insurance fraud or maybe spend them in another way without them being traceable again to his wallet. Of course, I don't know for sure, but this whole industry is full with these strange stories, guys. We should write a book about all these strange stories that happen um, in this industry. But getting hacked for more than $100 million, oh my God, then you need to be like really stupid to not have the setup of normal security. Oh, it is not possible. But I'm gonna use this news to answer for once and all that question that I've been asked for millions of times guys millions of times Didi do you like Ripple I can see this every time down below in the comments my answer is I hate Ripple Ripple is not a cryptocurrency when you touch Ripple you go cripple it is the most centralized currency I've ever heard of they are handpicking their notes this is no freedom currency this is a currency that's going to support the banking system, which is exactly why Bitcoin was invented to fight against the banking system. They want to support the banking system by creating a new SWIFT model by the use of the Ripple platform. And then the second thing, the Ripple token is not even connected to the company that is creating that software. So it's not being backed by anything. And that is exactly why there was no new all time high in 2021. Of all the huge currencies out there that made all-time highs in 2017, Ripple didn't even make an all-time high in 2021. So even investment-wise, Ripple is making you cripple. I don't believe that Ripple is a good currency. I believe it is a currency by the banks, for the banks, exactly what we don't want. We want to start focusing on a new monetary system built on the Bitcoin blockchain, D centralized not again a centralized option and that is why the banks love this one because they are fully in control who do you think owns those hand-picked notes that is not the normal people and we are not even allowed to start these notes because we are not hand-picked centralized as fuck i don't like ripple ripple makes you cripple so that was the last thing i ever will say about ripple let's jump now into the next part of the video while well, you can enjoy a very beautiful booty a horse booty yes again a beautiful booty of a horse. Bam. It is again a beautiful morning, but again, I'm too late because the sun is really high up. So I have the sun on my eyes. That's why I'm always wearing a cap. One, it protects my hair from blowing all over the place. And two, yes, the sun is really fucking bright sometimes, guys. Now the quote for today is a very special quote. While well, you can see some more horses on the back, guys. Very beautiful. It's amazing to do this in the morning, of course. Yes, that last one, that last horse, had it again, a beautiful booty. And I don't know why I called it butt yesterday, but I meant to say booty. Booty, booty, booty time. The quote for today is, if you can't fly, then run. And if you can't run, then walk. And if you can't walk, then crawl. Whatever it is, you need to keep moving forward. It is very important that you keep moving forward in life. Don't get stuck in that vicious, toxic circle that we call a hamster wheel. You're not moving forward. 
you're running in circles, you're running a hamster wheel. That is not good. Start slowing down, even start to scroll that hamster wheel till you fall out of the hamster wheel and you will be forced to change life. Because running that hamster wheel will make you sick at the end because we are just not built as human beings to run the hamster wheel 24 seven. That's not the way we should be living life. So if you can't fly, start to run. And if you can't run, start to walk. And if you can't walk, start to crawl. But whatever it is, keep moving forward. Crawl out of that hamster wheel. Change those things in life that you want to change and do it today, not tomorrow, not postpone to next month, not postpone to next year. It's like the same you all those people are saying, I will quit smoking on the 1st of January. Why the fuck you don't quit smoking on the 1st of December or October of June or July? I will start sporting in the new year. You can start sporting today. And if you're not equipped to fly during those sports, then start crawling. Start walking the beach or start crawling the beach. But that will look a little bit different and strange if you start to crawl on the beach here. Maybe next to me. I will have this leash and you are crawling and I have this leash. And then you are crawling with this ball in your mouth so that people really know that Didi is a very strange guy. Yes, let's start to crawl and then when you grow up from that crawling, I will put you into walking next to me and then you start to run and then you start to fly and spread your wings and do the fuck what you want with your life instead of running that hamster wheel. I think it's the most toxic thing that people can do. Running that hamster wheel, that's toxic as fuck. That is not the way they live, guys. That is the way they want you to live so you can accumulate as much as possible income to pay as much as possible tax to those assholes they will use that tax to suppress you to the fullest they are suppressing you because you are paying them tax and if you want to escape that whole centralized system then i believe that bitcoin and blockchain are the ultimate tools to do that we just need to unload those bank accounts the traditional finance system to put all that capital into this new decentralized monetary policy bitcoin and keep it there the less you use their currency, the less they will control you. The more you use their currency, the more they will be in control. It is very simple. So it's very beautiful to be supporting the Bitcoin revolution, a very peaceful revolution, while you change your life. And that's exactly what we as the family did. We wanted to change life. We found this beautiful peaceful revolution. We took all our capital, we put it in there. Our capital grew. We are supporting decentralization of the world. We are changing our lives all at the same time. And that is what everyone can do every single day. <clears throat> so you can ask me the question over and over again, should I sell my house? Should I sell my cars? Should I sell this? Should I sell that? Should I sell my third house, my garage, my apartment? Yes, they are all being outperformed by Bitcoin. If you're not happy on the place where you're living, surrounded by the people that you're surrounded by, and you want to change, then change. Sell all that materialistic stuff, go all into Bitcoin and start to search a new location while you travel all over the world. And then when you find your happy place, stay a little bit longer. And when you will stay there a little bit longer, maybe you go and live there the rest of your life and you build your new generations in this new country with new opportunities, with new chances, with new everything. We are doing the same. We still didn't find our complete happy, happy place where we were like, ah, here we're gonna stay now the rest of our lives. But the moment will be there that my family and I will find that place. Then we will land somewhere and we'll be like, wow, this is the perfect house. This is the perfect beach. This is the perfect place, the perfect community. And maybe then we will stay there forever and happily live after. Who knows? But if you're completely in the beginning of this cycle and you need to break out, and it's a very important quote. If you can't fly, start to run. If you can't run, start to walk. If you can't walk, start to crawl. Of course, not next to me with a ball and a leash, but start to crawl. I hope you get the message. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about everything else? Please share this video with as much as possible friends and family, guys. I want to reach 100k before Bitcoin does. So I need to reach 100k subscribers 
before the end of 2025, guys. So help us grow this channel to 75K and then to 100K by sharing this video on your socials and whatever other options there are, guys. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Friday. See you tomorrow again at a live English Live on Saturday and a Dutch AMA on Sunday. I wish you a beautiful Friday, a beautiful weekend. I'll see you one of those next days. Bam.